That's what I said about Lizzo. People, they're not used to being bigger. When you when you get big, the stuff that was funny before, like Lizzo saying, girl, you stole my Postmates, that's funny at 100,000 followers. It's potentially dangerous at a million. Why? Because yeah, now people are like, her, her fans of yours, now. she like might feel fearful. People are tweeting, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're it's not the same when you have a million followers. Right. And that's what happens. Now people are not used to that. Attack this person. And that happens in like a year. You're not used to that. You're used to making yeah. the same jokes. Yeah. So it's probably not fans from back in the day. These are all new fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or people who aren't fans of you. Y'all ready? Yep. Yeah, let's go. Yep. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another All Deaf Squad. Pa- um, how? Nigga, how? Oh, it's because no. you said yo, 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 yo. Every yeah. episode, yeah. Cool. Open your like that. And don't you edit it out you either. Not. You keep nope. all these mess Fuck, ups nigga. in. This you didn't even feel, yo, 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 yo. Welcome you, to you, MTV you. Snacks. I'm your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode to here, leave it in. All right, do it again. Yeah, you man. start from when you messed up yeah. and fix it right. Yeah. Go ahead, nigga. He's going to mess it up again. I bet you. I'll give you $50 right now if he gets this right straight through. Get the whole intro straight through. I'll give you $50. I need some money. I need some gas money. All right. Get it. Now what? Explain <laughs> what? God damn. Explain what? That quick? I got to. I want to make sure. Jesus. Explaining what it is to him. Yeah. Or you, you explain what I it is. Explain all the way up until the first. All right. Here we go. All right, here Everything. we go. There's no way he does this. It's only 25 now because right. you messed up the question. I didn't mess up. I asked you a question. Don't quit. Okay. Go. That should have made it go up. Go. Go. Oh yeah. You're right. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to another episode of All Deaf Squad Cast. We are out here. <laughs> you no, did it right. Nigga. I did it right. He nah, did it right. <laughs> we saw the triple. But I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I did it right. <laughs> you did it, y'all. You were, did here's the other thing. Josh, correct me if mouth. I'm wrong. You were thinking about it so much, you did this. Yo, what up, y'all? <laughs> welcome to All Deaf. No. Go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'll cover the other. Tw- I'll cover Cavs other twenty five. So you got fifty on the line. Let's go. <laughs> you just wanted to jump in on the betting part because <laughs> I know you gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the All Death Squad Cast. This is versus. You already know what's going on. We got Young Pat over there. Dope Beasy. Meg is in the house. Not Meg the Stallion. You're not to be confused. She can't dance or twerk. Uh, but we got Young Kev. Young Kev in the building as well. We got a lot of great, great, great types going on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you forgot what the hell you was doing. I didn't do anything. I didn't, I did, I did, not, I did not mess up. Hey. I did noise. not mess up. <laughs> Stop, Just keep going. <laughs> Give it up for the ladies. <laughs> birthdays. Like, we got birthdays in the house. We got Aries birthdays. Like y'all confused. like air. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Just, 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 All right, so ahead. Versus is a show where we have two topics and we get to pick which side we want to represent. <laughs> Try to convince the other people on the other side to come on our side. And that's it, man. Okay. So let's jump right into it. Cool. What's the topic at hand? Uh, first of all, I hate y'all. <laughs> we love you too. What I have is a it's a mental disability. You guys make fun of me for it. I'm on you medication for this. Impediment. You be fat shaming me. We need to speech shame him. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Every time you laugh. Every day to hear wake up like, oh, I got to say words. <laughs> <laughs> words. I'm going to pay somebody to talk for me when I get older. <laughs> Wait till I get on. All right. First one. Best villain. Thanos versus the Joker. Is it Thanos? Thanos. First Thanos. of all, it's Thanos. Now, are you talking no, overall? It, really, are you talking about French? Are you talking about Thanos. the Dark Knight movie Joker I, I, or I, Thanos? I was thinking Dark Knight Joker. I was thinking Heath Ledger's Joker and Thanos. Well, no, because Joaquin's Joker is better than Heath Ledger's. Yeah, but you can't say so, that because so he's not actually like, a hey, villain. Hey, he, he's not a villain against a hero. But then let's just break uh, it down. And let's story. just say overall. Each so overall, one overall, just Joker or Thanos? Overall, Thanos. and then get into it. That's easy. Joker. It's not easy. It's very easy. It's Joker versus Thermos. Man, I, Nigga, should, I you thought, thought about that before it. you said it. I just, I yeah. That he's off of me because that yeah. was yeah. Thermis. Delete that. No, no that, that is definitely oh saying that. Delete it. I'll break these mics. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in when you said it too. I'm gonna punch in hard. Thermis. Jeez. All right, enough. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay, yeah. now the only problem is the Joker was only in one film. Thanos was in. What? Well, he was in. No, the Joker is in Jack Nicholson. Well, are you talking decades. about? That's what I'm, ask, I'm asking. Are we talking about Heath Ledger's the Joker or the Joker as an that's overall? Let's just say Joker overall. Overall, all throughout overall. comics, all that. Just the yeah. character overall. Uh, because Joker. Well, here's is my thing, but because, because I didn't really know about Thanos as much uh, as much as I knew about the Joker. Right. I just I was watching more Batman stuff than Wait, I was. What? But but here's the thing. That's only villain. Yes, like here's the thing. Yes. Or who's a better villain? Let's do who's a better villain. Yeah, but here's the thing though. 
We've only seen Thanos in, Thanos in one movie, right? Just two. It, well, Avengers as a whole. It was in, a two in one single. franchise. Okay, one okay. Franchise, right? We, we have like five different Jokers to choose from. That's why I was trying to pin, nail it down to like one particular Joker. You could do the Avengers fan, Thanos versus just the Dark Knight. That's yeah. what who played saying. Thanos? Yeah. Is it a person? Huh? Who plays him? Uh, Josh Brolin. Very good. What if we say if he, who's what, who's Josh the most Brolin? villainous is, villain? Yeah. Huh? Who's the playing? most villainous? Well, here's the thing about two. villains. Here's because the thing if you about say villains. That. Well, here's the, here's the thing about villains. We I learned this from a movie writing thing. The villain need, it doesn't need to be the best villain overall. It's the best villain for the hero they're fighting. So right. the reason why yeah. the Joker was so good for Batman is because he was basically the antithesis of everything Batman was. Yeah. He right. made his strength weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't trying to kill Batman. He was trying to push him to break his code. Man. And that's why he was better than like Bane was like, okay, I'll just beat you up. Well, then I beat you up. You can I shoot win. Joker though. You can run over like he's he's cool, but that's cool, the thing but he's though because smart. he wants you to shoot him. And Batman's whole thing he's is I can't that. kill. Right. So like in order to kill the Joker's like in order to beat me, you're gonna have to kill do me. Do the thing that you don't want. I'm not. Do. You're gonna have to do the thing you don't want to do. Mm. You're gonna have to kill me. Which obviously you're you're more. You can beat me up and kill me. Like yeah. when you remember he was beating him up in the thing. He was like yeah. he was laughing. He was, laughing. This is fantastic. Yeah. Because I know you can't kill me. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna like he and he he was whooping Batman in the mind game. He yeah. no he never yeah. been trying to fight Batman back. Yeah. yeah. He was just yeah. taking his lumps, and that's why I liked him more. Because I was like, bro, all the stuff that works for Batman usually is not working. Not mm. his smarts. Not his brawn. Like, what are you going? It, it was up to the but, people to save Batman. But Remember? you forget, they had to travel through time to beat Thanos. Thanos whooped everybody. Yeah. But see, but hold on though, because uh, uh, the Scarlet Witch had hands for Thanos. She saw him straight up on the one v one in the battlefield, and then and he, he had to he call had for a way the out, He had a way out of it. But her yeah. and Captain Marvel was ready to see him one on one. Like, well, like, he, there was he, a well, that's the thing. Ca Captain Marvel all across the yeah. field. Yeah, that's but that's what we're thinking. When? When he hit her and not yeah, he her, did. like, was she? He yeah. Did? Mm -hmm. yeah. So well, it wasn't his Scarlet Witch yeah. that had hands for him. But if we're if we're leaving out the comics, that's different because in the MCU they had to tone the Scarlet Witch down to make from it her make regular sense. powers from the exactly, comics. Exactly, because in the comics too he, powerful. She, she can give it to Thanos. Yeah, but she was giving it to him in the movie too. I don't really remember Thanos doing much though, as far as like, I don't remember Thanos really remember him he beating nobody Thanos. else. <laughs> I know he did the snapping thing, but he never Thanos like Thanos kept his word. Bro, no, he no, no. He told you exactly what he was gonna do. And he did it. How he was gonna do it, and then what he was gonna do at the end. But before that ass. to hear he saw the Hulk one on one, oh, bam, beat the, beat the confidence out of him. Yep. Bam. Remember when your boy was like, "Nah, let him have his fun." At that I was moment, like, "Hold up!" At that what? very moment, I was like, "Oh, this finna be some shit." Bro, <laughs> this finna be some bro, shit. Bro, the Hulk didn't come out no the more. The Hulk was like, yeah. "I'm good." He's let me tell glasses. you what. The funny thing about that, the Hulk was my JoJo's favorite um, superhero. Until that, until then, Ooh. he was like, "Man, he came back with glasses and a sweater. He don't." Yeah. 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 The kids don't even, believe bro, it. I'm like, bro, what it did. He lost the youth. He beat when, the he, when, he, when he punched the Hulk in the throat, oh my yeah. god, fam, that that changed everything. He for came him. back to Hulk with sipping tea, like, you know, I don't really even like to be violent. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> my brother, my brother, <laughs> bro, you are so he lost. beat he beat the Avengers up so bad that they had to go back in time, and he's. Growing up on him while he was making beans, farming, yeah. he was like, y'all can go ahead and kill me. I did what I needed to do with It was Netflix guys. and chilling. And girl. Yeah. The, the Hulk was in the armor for the Hulk because he couldn't come out no more. Yeah. Let me put he couldn't come on. out to play. They had to come Damn. up with the armor that they created to beat him. But this, oh, it was okay. ridiculous. And then the Joker just robbing banks. Like he's great That's for nice. Batman, but, but yeah. this is the reason why the Joker is so this guy's lit. Avengers. But see, the God. reason why Joker is so lit though is because he don't have no special powers. He don't That's have it. no no. He can't snap his finger and you fall. Like he is a very diabolical, criminal minded. Well, for me, that's yeah. why Thanos is better. <laughs> no, nah, because the, because I'm just like he's a regular dude though. So I I look at him like. He's a regular dude, and even like in Dark Knight, he had all those people behind him and supporting him. Like that's doper to me than just being this like mythical figure that can snap his fingers and kill half the universe. Well, the thing I like about Thanos is that he's just basically a, a super PETA person. He was like, "Y'all are destroying the planet. The Which, only way to that, do this exactly is to kill I, half of you guys." That's what I was that's gonna say. That's basically like, PETA to the max. Like, like, you, know you, want, you want to hate him, he's but an then, environmentalist, but, yeah. right? And then you see the softer side of him when he was raising what's her name, uh, Gamora. Yeah, Gamora, and her like, there's something about him like you want to hate him because of what he did, but at the same time, he was like, "Look, cool. I'm trying to make this a better place, and unfortunately, I gotta be the bad guy to he's do it." Basically, like human beings are over consuming. Y'all about <laughs> right. to ruin everything for everybody. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to make the hard decision. The best 
best villains believe that they are heroes. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he doesn't mm-hmm. think he's wrong. He's just like, you know what? Nobody really has the balls to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. He's more right but, than Joker, but, though. But here's the thing. Yeah. Not, well, here's, here's the thing, though. With Thanos, he had an agenda, right? Like, so if he didn't get the stones, he couldn't complete his agenda. With, right. with Joker, there was no agenda. If he yeah, if he called Batman, he didn't really know what to do with that's him. That's what made like, him lit, though. Yeah, he that's was what I'm madness. saying. Like he because he had nothing no, to lose. I, he literally I, feared nothing. When when Thanos had to throw Gamora over the bridge, you saw it for affected the soul him. Stone? Yeah, for the soul that affected him in real life. He cried. First of all, nothing funny affected it. She was like, "Ha ha, you ain't got nobody you love." And he was like, "Hold up." Oh boy, was like, uh, <laughs> those tears ain't for him. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, me? You feel that way about also, me?" Also, when he was like, "Wait, wait, 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 I was just kidding." I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. While we're talking about the Soul Stone, how funny was the fight between oh, Hawkeye and Black Widow for who died? And the whole the whole audience was like, "I mean, either one, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. one, no drama." It was just we like everybody was watching like this. Column A, column B. <laughs> really really that you couldn't it's supposed care to be dramatic. Less. I didn't care. They're like, no yeah. me, no me. But what about you? But what about me? It's like, well, both of y'all can go. <laughs> both go. We, got, we got Iron Man. <laughs> it was so funny in the trailer when all these people are doing their powers and Scarlet Witch was just like, boo, boo, <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> like, that's not, I mean, like, I, that's cool and all, but these people, they ain't really finna do nothing today. And the arrows, like, that ain't really... That's, that that's, that's, that's really like not gonna be. Yeah. yeah, that ain't. Uh, it's hard to follow most of the Avengers. I mean, the dude yeah. just catch a hammer. It's like, where was it? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was over there. Anyway. <laughs> it's here now. But what was Thanos' overall goal and vision? He was trying balance. to bring balance. Yes, to bring the balance to the universe because there's too much people, too many mm-hmm. people, people, too consuming. many beings. Yeah, yeah. For I mean, that, that reason, that makes clear. him the better villain. That makes him the better villain because, no, like you said, not. Joker didn't know what to do once he got. Nah, Batman. he knew exactly what he was doing. He was very He didn't know what to do once he got Batman. Because I remember there was there was something he's, he he was quoted. As it saying, was like, Alfred. It was Alfred. What would was I like, do without Batman? I wouldn't have anything yeah. to do. It's like a dog I mean, the Joker. His own remember when he in, in the Dark Knight when he got all that money and then he set it on fire? Like that was the most gas thing. That's what I'm saying. Right, Batman was like, like, I don't bro, care I, about this. I don't he understand that. what's up with you. That's bro. something. Like, that's when you can trick your when enemy. You, like when that. you have nothing to lose, you you're the most dangerous person in the world right. like nothing nothing no. nothing can be taken from you not even his life he wasn't afraid to die but just because you're not afraid to die doesn't, doesn't make, make you make you a good villain. villain yes it does because yeah. that man could be does. afraid yeah. to die but you just can't kill him that means that, that, that means you that means you will, you will yeah. go to, you will go to yeah. no lips to get what you need to get done Thanos would but have you, he had a lip like you he, said he had no agenda so what was he trying to get done if he had no chaos. agenda all he that's wanted an to agenda. do that's an agenda that's an agenda his agenda was to push Batman beyond That's his moral thought, code. Yeah. Right. That's that what was what his That's whole just point Batman. of. We, let's be real. If Gotham was a real place, Joker would have been shot by the police. He would have been killed. It's, well, who cares I mean, about Batman yeah. and him? Well, in the real He's world, Thanos wouldn't yeah. be able to snap his fingers <laughs> and the half of the world die. Well, what I'm saying is if the police force were actually characters in Batman's story. Because, I mean, p- the police couldn't really do anything because it was about Batman. Right. So him being fearless but also just a regular human... Does just just because he's he fearless doesn't renegade. make him a better villain than Thanos, who the Avengers, when they tried their hardest, could not kill. Nah. Yeah, Batman couldn't kill Joker for the long. Did, did he, he ever kill the but Joker? He could though. He no. could. He never seems to be able to do it though. No, he just no, he had him on the building, but he, he never him. actually did it. And I, but you didn't say that. You said could he kill him? <laughs> what he did? Could you know what he? Said? What I said? You said could he <laughs> kill him? <laughs> not did he? I don't care what I said. What I said? <laughs> Thanos is very clearly the better villain. I think for overall. Yeah. Thanos took a lot more from a lot more people yeah. to be killed. But half the world. And also, he he kind of won for five years. The fact that you got to go back in time just to have a chance. Because you lost. Yeah, yeah. That, people. I remember when I was like, when I saw that movie, the first one, when it ended, I was like, so they just lost, it's over? Right. Bro, right. the credits was on. I was like, so people is just dead? I, right. I remember I when they were it. fighting, and I was like, it's, it's not going to be enough time. <laughs> Because I had already looked and saw how long the movie right, right, was. Right. When I tell you that the the feeling of panic that came right, over me, I was right. like, it's, it's not enough time. Listen, I and saw that with my kids. It was quiet. It was Listen, quiet in the theater. Everybody was like, My son oh. looked at me like I had a. He's like, What, you just gonna let this happen? I'm like, Bro, I'm too. He's just like, Do man, something. Man. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel so well, Mr. Oh, Stark. Oh, man, I was like, no. Zay Zay looked at me personally like, Why would you bring me to this movie knowing this potentially could happen to me as my favorite hero? <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> that was a tough one. You know what? Also, Thanos played the long game. Because remember, yeah. he was the one that sent Loki. He he was like, at first, I'm not even going to oh, do this. Yeah. He He's was playing the boss. He's yeah. been making moves. Yeah. He eventually was just like, I got to do but this. What? He was a black mom. He was like, I got to do this myself. Y'all never know how to clear <laughs> the kitchen. What is Thanos yeah. actually, though? He's not a person. He's, He's not an alien. What is he? 
in in theory. What is his? I guess he's an alien. He's, an alien. he's super big. He's an alien. He's just from a different race. He's from, yeah, he's from he's the planet Titan. Planet. So he's from another planet. And he's so concerned with what's going on in Earth that he wants to in the, to, in the, in the whole universe. It, it, yeah, because it happened on his he's planet too. He's just nosy. Too. It happened on his it planet. Was the whole he was universe, like, not yeah, just so, Earth. Yeah, it was, and then it happened on Gamora's planet. Balance. And it, yeah, because at first he was doing it by hand. He was killing people by himself. Yeah, and then he was like, I could be more efficient. I need like the hybrid of this. I need to like kill people all at once because this one. That's what's make his murder more efficient. <laughs> He's like, man, this, well, uh, this whole Captain, planet by planet is taking a lot of time. Yeah. Captain Planet <laughs> was like, uh, not Captain Planet, but Captain Marvel was like, what happened on Earth happened throughout the entire universe. It's like your planet isn't the only planet that was affected by this. Mm-hmm. Oh, so she was going. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. things di- died across the universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was about that life. All right. Best villain, Pat Thanos. Thanos. Joker, fool. Okay. Thanos. Joker. I gotta go with the Joker. Thing. Hey, I like the you Joker. already know what it is. Wow. Yes, I sir. like the Joker. That's also ah. my favorite Shut up, movie. Girl. Specifically, <laughs> Heath Ledger. You that didn't even say anything for the Joker. Yeah, I did. I said all the Batman stuff. I, <laughs> you didn't. I, said I actually, I actually you like. I thought I like, you were on Thanos. Right. Team, right. You said, right? I, 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 like, I like the, the element of kind of selling the other one and not not, not telling what you were going to pick until the end. Yeah. I like that. I like the Joker. That old like baby switch. It. He was the most no. perfect villain for he was that perfect. movie. Yes. For that hero. Yeah. He was. And his spinoff movie was the best ever. Yeah. My whole thing about this, I know we got a move. The, the weird thing about that, I'm going to commit a crime and then I'm going to do an interpretive dance after like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? He's man? psycho. He's he's well, psycho, he's, he's obviously not he was, in his right he, mind. He wasn't in his right mind. That's what it was. But it was Did, good though. you seen Joker, right? The last 15 minutes. No, no, no. no really I haven't seen it. Saved I year. haven't even seen it either. No, you, you could have just seen that part. You didn't, you didn't have to see that to see it. Well, that wasn't that tra- Don't give away the interpretive trailer. dance. No, that was in the trailer though. <laughs> y'all, that movie, y'all ain't gonna see it. You won't be seeing movies, man. I'm not gonna see it. Bro. It came out like lie. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> there were reports that it was gonna, the theater was gonna get shot up. I'm not yeah, getting shot. Oh movies. yeah, if you were like a loser at Intel, that's your movie, man. Oh, oh yeah, this I want to see it you. at home. <laughs> yes, yeah, that movie's great, man. Getting shot over the Joker. All right, let's get going to the next one. Here we go. Cooking versus. Postmate cooking. This is cooking. Rough. That's wait, tough. wait, wait. Are you doing the cooking? Or are you eating someone else's? Cooking? No, it has to be you. You doing the cooking? Obviously, you you doing the cooking. Yeah. Oh, this isn't yeah. even a question. This is very easy. What? Postmates me. all the way. Why though? Mm. I do no, not like Kevin, cooking. Kevin, I'm gonna put Kevin on blast. Kevin be postmating for more than one place at once. There ain't no blast. You, you. <laughs> <laughs> Burgers from Burger King, fries Ooh. from McDonald's. No, I remember that. once we were in the office. <laughs> you are Ke- lying. No, Kevin, to you. Kevin used to do this all the, the time. We. <laughs> literally had a juice spot that was like a block away and kev repeatedly postmates the one juice every time i'm like so kev, you could have it took longer it cost more i was like you could have just went down the there and got it it wasn't your far meal. it wasn't far <laughs> no they were like i gotta make one boba for one person and then hand it to me like thank you <laughs> yeah his postmates walked it there like that's how yeah. close it was george it was george did. remember we filmed wow. what we were here last week doing the game night, right? Mm-hmm. Or the, yeah, games with friends. Kev had George up here. George brought him up here. Kev stayed seven minutes from here. George came all the way. Up. He, George wasn't here. No, he, George wasn't here. He brought the love hour guests up. All oh, right, that's what he did. Kev? I don't know why the people get from my house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you had a driver? No. Yes. That nigga be having drivers, yes. bro. That nigga bougie, bro. I know. Yes. He yes. did. Guys from one pl- at that point, you gotta go out. <laughs> no. I'm gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> Jersey Mike's, okay, you get the, the steak and cheese sandwich, you know, get that coming while they making that. <laughs> Go ahead and get that pink berry and send it on over too. Wow. And I time them so that the, the, the sandwich comes about 15 minutes after that, my ice cream should be here. Oh, oh you serious? my God. I have, I have left shoots, even when I walked in all day, I've left shoots, looked at my time about 30 minutes home. If I order the Postmates now, it should meet me in my driveway. <laughs> and I have timed it this, perfectly. This I open the, the garage and the Postmates is fully beside. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah, it's don't even walk in. the fattest thing ever. Right here. The fattest oh, thing ever. I'm not going to do this. Click, click, click. Oh, fire. The, the, simmer, simmer. The hey, fattest thing. You're cooking? <laughs> simmer, click, simmer. Click, click, you're sarcastic cooking. <laughs> Somebody's already doing that for me. <laughs> Here's the other wanna, thing. You got to do the dishes. It's a whole thing. Your driver thing. can spit in your food they can they eat your some. food and matter of fact it, uh, there was just thing. a report okay, that so was out like 70 percent of drivers have either have said that they tasted a food they took a fry they did something take to a your fry food. i don't mind 
Here's the problem. <laughs> I ordered this breakfast for us this morning. I ordered two orange juices, right? Mm-hmm. The lady has them in the drink part of her thing. She hands me the food and she's like, they didn't have your orange juice. I'm like, <laughs> I can see it, right? But it, it was supposed to be a drink with mine yes, too. Yes, I, I didn't saw get it. any of the drinks. Yeah. Did you say like, that's it? No, I didn't want, they want to get Lizzo. I don't know. I was just like, okay. No, but a- I'm like, I'm thirsty though. She's like, this ain't yours. They didn't have yours. I'll go back and get it. I was like, it's fine. No, there was a video wow. that went viral. Yeah. Apparently, there was a fight because somebody had ordered some Popeye chicken sandwiches, and then they came out to the car and they was eating their chicken sandwiches. She was like, and there was a whole fight, I so saw people that. could eat your food. Well, they canceled. You're just spending first. your own food on mistake. <laughs> yeah. That's your own spit, though. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. Easy. this, is, this, <laughs> this your hair could fall in. Look at that. That's you know, your own. No hair that's that his shit. own hair. It ain't good. Oh that my gosh. True. What? No, I, <laughs> I know that. I know that. I know you be shit. No, but this is easy. <laughs> This is easy for me because I'm trying to get in shape. Because I be trying to get in shape, I be try. I hate eating now, so eating in the house is way better for me. But I'm starting to learn how to make delicious options on my own. Like what? I made my own version of the uh, Popeye chicken sandwich. Steak and shrimp. Yeah, it'd be lit. Well, you did not make no chi- Popeye's chicken sandwich. How did fried you make it? Too. How did you make it? I fried the chicken. I dipped it in the little buttermilk sauce. I put. I got the little the the nice country potato buns. I made my own joint. Brioche. Whatever. It was lit though. That sandwich got the Thanos. Don't play and, and and you can go to KFC, <laughs> get their food, and then come home and put it on his regular plates. Absolutely. Yeah, so I didn't feel like yeah, I was eating now. Absolutely. <laughs> that was lit. Yeah. No, I do. Up. Now that my daughter's here with me, and I'll be like, because I can't teach her, like, you can't be always eating out. So I have to show her how to cook. You're it's my responsibility nothing. as a black father. It's not. It is. It is. Your responsibility is to say technology has made that useless. No. That's like huh, still using abacus when we have calculators. That's dumb. No. We don't no. need to learn how to write. So you don't teach your kids Absolute. how to matter of fact, you don't teach your kids how to cook at all? No. They don't know how to like boil a hot Everyone dog. Everyone should Their know. Their mom how to cook. teaches them. No. I think no, that's, that's useless. As long as they know. Useless. No, that's a skill. I don't it's not everybody it's not needs necessary. to it absolutely, Hold on, it changing actually, your oil it, used to be a necessary skill. Now there's Jiffy Loop. Why do I need to learn second. how to change my oil? Hold on a second. You're a man. First of all, you so, say I'm a man. I you, can pay him. He's you don't man. know how much money they going you just going to say here, here's a billion dollars y'all always just hire somebody to cook for you. You don't need a billion dollars. Postmates be costly. Okay, it adds up. So what happens when your kids are like <laughs> I know delivery fees are tough for you guys. Yes. Doesn't really bother. Me. Listen, I don't the have rest of us normal day. people. I pay monthly, so I don't have to worry about delivery fees. For really? Oh yes. my Wait, there's, God. A, there's a feature for that? Oh, no, no, I saw no, that, no. but I was like, this is for fat people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, though. Here's the thing, here's the thing about cooking. I'm the Thanos cooking. of eating. I need to be more efficient. <laughs> the cooking and part, the other day, catering. I wanted uh, like a danger dog, right? But What's I was in the valley. The danger dog. The Dodger dog. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's a it's a hot dog with bacon wrapped on it. The one they sell outside of Staples Center after the game's over. Oh, gotcha. the, okay. okay. But I didn't feel like going to the city for it because I was in the valley already. So I had to go to Ralph's and go buy everything that I needed. But I was able to do that, and I trusted that because when they're cooking that stuff downtown, ain't no no faucets around them. You don't know if they're washing. <laughs> okay, their hands and or I none just and I will just say this: there's certain. I mean, you don't. I used to work in a restaurant, and I would tell you right now, I worked at a five-star restaurant. I will never, ever, ever let these people box up my food, okay? Because if you understand what the back of a kitchen looks like, it doesn't matter. I do that all the time. What? I do that all the time. You're not supposed to let people box up your food? Don't let. You shouldn't even be eating out. That's the truth. That's the truth. But we're all going to do it. What happens when they box up your food? I never knew this. What happens? Uh, That's when your food gets... Eight. That's when they be licking stuff off your. I've seen this firsthand. They gotta take what? a trip or two. It's part of the game. Wait, so you mean if I'm like a okay, real lobster? Okay, hold on. It's, Damn, it's that does make sense, though. I never knew that. A two as opposed to somebody who is like using their hands. People don't wash their hands. They're dirty, y'all. That's why that is This is so... why you got to say your grace and believe in God. I have time <laughs> to worry about well, I, have been, I, I thought that was like a luxury thing. I thought like when you started eating in nice restaurants, you were supposed to do that. Like... I felt stupid as hell. No, I'm talking about send it to them to let well, them box Sizzler's it up. Well, not a nice restaurant. No, so I'm just box up. She's saying there's nice no, restaurants no. that they still do that. Now I'm like, this is crazy. Listen, man, all you do is just, say your grace. No, and I'm going to say this too. There's a very popular chicken chain that oh, somebody no. loves and halfway works at where I found a hair in yesterday. Thank oh, you very much. Not bad. No, it was not bad. No, it was a long blonde hair in the oh, middle of my sucks. little kale salad. And I. I were you going there to order kale salad for? That's the problem. I'm, yeah, why are you order kale salad at chicken spot? Yes, they That's do. That's like going to IHOP and let me get the salmon. They, they like, do. What? <laughs> what? Is that on the menu? It's a superfood. Pancakes, man. Superfood side. And I guess what I did, the line was super long because everybody 
loves this fantastic fast food restaurant. You can restaurant. say the name. I don't, I'm not going to no say it. Deal. Okay. <laughs> so what I did was instead of wait, I went straight to the front and I really was like, I could just be like, excuse me, manager. You're talking this about is- Popeyes? Chick-fil-A. No. Chick-fil-A. 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 Oh. I was like, but I they gave just... it back to you and they're like, my pleasure, ma'am. We're so sorry about that. And you felt bad for being angry. No, I, didn't, so I, wasn't, I didn't go up there angry. I just went up there to be like, yo, this is the, another reason why we don't think about it. We think we think about the convenience of somebody else making our food, but we don't think about the nastiness of I really other don't. people. I have You're a question. Right. I literally, if you think about it, you wouldn't want the food. Exactly. So no, right. you got ignorance is bliss. I have my a grandma question didn't wash her hands either. Oh, but, but real quick, real quick. She did. Why we on that? She did it? No, she Grandmas burning. don't have germs. Like, oh, oh, why we on that subject? If you say my pleasure to a Chick-fil-A employee after they give you or take your order, before they say it to you, you get your food for free. Oh, I don't think that's true. I have a question about true? Chick-fil-A. It is true. I have a question about Chick-fil-A that keeps so. me up at night they sometimes. They never say that to me. When, at Chick-fil-A. Is see if you guys, where'd you hear that from? <laughs> A, a Chick Fil A employee. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. He, put, he put the he put the he put the Chick Fil A. Uh, like no Uno. Like, no Uno. Uh, so you so you okay. were like, thank you, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The risk of that is too high because they were just like, what? <laughs> you feel so you can't. I don't want to pay now. Uh, I, was like, trying, <laughs> I was trying to get some free food. Not to hear just like, <laughs> actually, I don't have money, so please just give it to me, please. Somebody told me that a long time ago that In and Out would do that. That if you told them you didn't have money, they give it to you for free. I wouldn't take their food for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I had a question. No, I have man. a question for you guys. Like I have a question for you guys about Chick Fil A. How in the fruit cups? How do they get the little oranges unpeeled? The, that's <sighs> yeah. How? No, there's a that's machine like an that actual does. Mystery does. How does that happen? Yeah. What do you yeah. mean? You know you, that you take the peel off. But you, I've never like they're so little, and I'm like, how do they get this? Peel you know, off? okay. So you understand a restaurant has prep before they sell yeah. the stuff. You, they chop they up don't the even, lettuce. No, no, they're not even prepping that there. That comes from wherever. Well, yeah, that that gets shipped I've, to them in a whole bag. And it's shipped of like that. Or, yes, oh, of oranges that have everyone been bought. The, he got fruit from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> We're just going past that. Everybody is on board with that. <laughs> That's the part where we should have got off. What? Like, oh, I said Chick-fil-A fruit. Whoa, whoa, Listen, whoa, he's going to be like a fruit cover. The person's like, what do you know about fruit? <laughs> you can have a large Did you know that the salads at McDonald's, let me stop you right there. <laughs> if you're not going to have a serious conversation, then don't, We're trying don't sit to down. Me. We're rolling. <laughs> stop. Playing. <laughs> what was the question we were supposed to be Cooking asking? versus pumpkin. Cooking at I'm, home. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say cooking. But you all, here's the thing, though, in, in fairness to myself versus you, you're a good cook. I am right. not. If but I, you can become a good I'm cook. I'm a better exactly. cook. I'm now, a better cook. Do you enjoy becoming, cooking? Um, not after Thanksgiving, but before then, yes. Here's Thanksgiving look lit, though. But uh, you know how much work and prep yeah. went as two days of me cooking 10 dishes for people. That was a lot of work, and that took the so enjoyment regular out of it for me. January to October, you enjoy cooking. Uh, For the most part. I hate it. I like because it. Because you suck at it. If you no, weren't good I'm at actually, it. I'm not that bad. My what barbecue can you make? Look- I, I make great barbecue. I don't feel like but cooking's you, not do hard. Do you cook good? What have you ever made good? Right. Barbecue. What else have you made, though? So okay. Spaghetti. spaghetti. It's probably Has good. Has anyone outside good? of your family vouched that your barbecue yeah. is good? Yeah, yeah. People be going to my house for barbecue. Yeah, he made it. It was it. Was it. it was yeah. Okay. You shut up. Don't say nothing because I beat your ass already. <laughs> shut the fuck up, <laughs> nigga. With your booty ass sauce. They, too much they, vinegar in that shit. They, they, knew, they knew that was... <laughs> That was false. But man. also, I'm not. I don't take pride in my cooking, so I'm not like out here like oh, I cook. I cook like that. So I, I don't really feel like if cooking. you're ordering food that much, you just lazy. Like, but hold on. But Kev, also, lazy th- th- was there a time in your life? Hold on, because Postmates ain't been around forever. So what did you do before Postmates with food? Sandwiches. Wait, my my wife cooked. I cooked stuff. I mean, I just had my go tos: spaghetti, tacos. Salmon. Tacos, you know, people they got the four or five to get them through a dark period. I know, but so that's what I'm saying. So then, technically, cooking. I mean, when I had what period of your life, and I didn't have a lot of money before when we were just we just used to cook. You mean like regular people, like the rest of us? No, I mean like regular people. You just be cooking dinner before Postmates was out. I mean, people still order pizza and Chinese food, or you went to restaurants and picked it up. Like I've always liked eating out, as you can tell. (laughs) But yeah, I don't like cooking. But I used to cook. I just didn't enjoy. I made beef stroganoff one time. It wasn't good. It was. It wasn't good. (laughs) And oh it was, was it probably like beef hamburger helper beef stroganoff? I used to make, huh? Hamburger helper? Like, you said no, beef no, but I stroganoff was not good? Never good. I ordered some it at a restaurant good. recently and it was not good. Oh, beef Wellington is not good either. In Philly, I was like, ugh, this is trash. Wellington? I don't know. It's like bread with meat and stuff. I only did it because nah, I don't uh, Bill Cosby used to talk about it on the Cosby show. All the time. <laughs> beef Wellington. I was like, I'll try that. And then I got it and it was terrible. I feel like cooking is like, it's safer because you know exactly what you're getting. It's healthier. And I... I don't know. I, it's do you cook? And it's yeah. cheaper. What you be cooking? Um, I, I switch. I like find different recipes and stuff. What's like the last that. thing and you cooked? 
The last thing that I cooked was chicken um, cacciatore. Dang, what did I cook last? Sam, it's not even like not. It was bad oh, was. Uh, chimichangas. What was that supposed to be? You made chimichangas? From scratch? From you scratch? Just, you yeah. just was like, I got a hankering for chimichangas? Yeah, um, I made all the filling. I learned how to roll it, and then I fried them. It was fire. What? Go ahead. You really did that? I, that, that was your first time making chimichangas? Mm-hmm. I, okay. I would never do That's that. Just, I, I just, I just never but, do but that. But at the end of the day, hold on. Who's Do you want, like... Macaroni and cheese from any place, or would you rather have it from somebody's grandma who made it at home, home for love? That's, that's I ain't making I my own mac though. That's why I cook because I know how I want my stuff to taste. Yeah. So that's why I take the time to make sure the turkey I, burgers are trash. But those beans he made, <laughs> that, that wasn't for me. That was so people would have options. I would have no, never made no. the burgers for me. You should have made it for you. <laughs> that, they had turkey burgers with onions in it. We was like, bro, don't nobody want this. Turkey burgers are supposed to have onions in them. Yeah, don't, turkey like, burger is the part where we jumped off the yeah, train. Yeah, you put That's the right. onion on it. He had it like in the yeah, actual turkey burger. I don't like turkey, turkey burgers burger. at all. No, it's not for a competition. Not at a barbecue. Oh, yeah. well, not at a fair competition. And for a barbecue, I want for beef. For a barbecue, yeah. 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 Turkey yeah. burgers But in, are in general, I like turkey burgers. I make turkey burgers at home. Yeah. Well, screw you. Postmates is is just convenient, but at the between them picking at your food and all those delivery services, I would I'm going. And then they it, never get it right. They always they leave. They always something. leave something. Always leave something. Always like it. Ways and mess up. Have you ever felt the pain of waiting the time and then it getting canceled? Man, and then you have I've, to wait. Oh, that is no. Let me tell you what happened to me word. the other day. Has this ever? I know it has to have happened to you at least once, or some of y'all too. But you do it a lot because I would say you. Okay. I ordered some food for my daughter. She wanted Gus's uh, fried chicken. I ordered it for her, but I had put the last place I ordered it from was on Wilshire, and she ordered it from the house, and so but she still had the Wilshire address to cancel it. They charged me forty five dollars. There's no way. Absolutely. You Wait, can, you ordered it Because I tried address? to go and cancel it, so I, I had the wrong address listed. So I had the address to have it delivered on Wilshire, but of course I live in the Valley. So I went to go cancel it, and then they there was like, to cancel this order, it's $45. I've never, that's never I've happened to me. I've sent the yeah. Postmates to like the wrong place, and they were just like, oh, well. It, was yeah, Uber, it wasn't Postmates, it was Uber Eats. It was Uber yeah. Eats that, that did this to me. Oh, no, that's never happened to me. Yeah, and I was mad Yeah, that's never happened to me. All right, so let's get the vote <laughs> in. Pat? Cooking. Okay. Cooking, nigga. Really? Yeah. Mm. Cooking. Woo. Postmates. Cooking. Really? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. The lazy boy. You're and rich. That's why I have kids Wait, for the dishes. Hold you are on. Rich. You rich. And when you get to I'm your next rich. level of richness, instead of chef. doing a post, exactly, you're going to have a chef. I the only reason I have Postmates is because I I, my wife won't let me get a chef. Get that. You want a chef you? for real? Yeah. How much are chefs? I know you didn't look into the pricing. I ain't looked into it. Why are you friends with us? We too broke for you. Y'all not too broke. Why don't you just get a chef every now Y'all combined is like one of my friends. <laughs> but no, um, no, chef would be great because then you get the best of both worlds. You get everything you want. But, Healthy. Um, that's too expensive. I ain't even looked into it because I know I ain't got money. I don't like think that. it's as expensive as you think. Right. I'm pretty sure you can do it. People be coming to your house and then cooking, then leaving. Yes. yes. All the time. That's how it works. But that's you got expensive. all the stuff. You're basically pay- paying them for the prep and the cook. If you already got all the groceries, they don't have to pay for that. I don't get the groceries. I use Instacart for that. <laughs> I mean, but even you don't even go grocery shopping. <laughs> Who are you? I, I don't Why go, would you I don't go, go grocery shopping? shopping because it's a normal function of society. It's so just, it's, it doesn't Raph, have to Raph be though. Gives you There's something about delivery. just walking down doing this that you yes, should be doing annoying. in your life. It's annoying. And it takes long, bro. It be taking mad long to go grocery shopping. I just enter my items and then someone brings them. And to you me. always leave with stuff that you. Buy. I, I yes. just don't like the whole process of taking groceries from the car to the house. And you gotta bag them yourself, basically. Now you we can't be have lazy. Getting groceries delivered here. makes way more sense because they, love they, they can't pick delivered. at it really. Yeah. No, but, but here's the on, thing even though: with that, if you get fresh produce, it's always nasty. I have to specify they will tell exactly. Yeah. exactly. No bruised fruit. No this. Fruit. That's like, what you do. They always mess up. They don't care at all. They just grab an avocado. Yeah, that is not there. Because even for things. Given we ordered the uh, turkey through uh, Ross Ralph's and we just said the wrong Ross. We ordered from Ralph's, but we ordered a specific turkey and they brought us a frozen turkey and we cooked like the day before Thanksgiving. So like it takes like two days for a, a turkey to unthaw. So we had really? to go back up. The, yeah, and you a job turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I always tell when no boy just stops listening because a yeah, joke is in his mind. He's just waiting for you to stop talking. That's it. And I saw like 18 seconds ago, he was like, as soon as he stops, I'm going to say you're a job. <laughs> he ain't listening to none of your story, bro. He's just, he he just heard waiting turkey. for an opening to get in. Oh, all right. That's where we at. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the last one. Uh, this is one of my, my favorites right here. This is No Limit versus Cash Money. That's oh, we should kick it off with this. Ooh, that's yeah. easy. Cash okay, money. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. What is the best no limit artist ever 
versus the best Cash Money artist. Oof. Drake. Ooh, Cash Money. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say Lil Wayne. Drake versus who? Drake, you say Lil Wayne is better than Drake? Well, Young Money of is all time. Young Money is all time. There's the but, door. But Wayne was with Cash Money straight up. Right. Yeah. And Drake, Drake was signed to Cash Drake Money. Drake was signed to Cash, cash Money. Young Money, Cash Money. Young Money, Cash Money. They were both Young Money. Because Young Money is Wayne, right? Yeah. yeah. No, but Wayne was originally. But it was still the parents. So you can still count. So who's the biggest No Limit artist? Master P. Master P. Oh, who you? Because after you go master, limit after here. you got Master Mystical P, who do you got, nigga? <laughs> Silk the Shocker, Skull Dugry, Skull Dugry. How is this a debate? Skull Dugry. That's more the Skull Dugry. Who, who else besides Skull Dugry? Yeah, Master P. Yeah, C Murder. Yeah, Silk the Shocker. Yeah, Mia X. You got Young Mia X does Skull, not get Mystical. talked about enough. Yeah, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Wait, 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 wait. We're not done yet. You also have Cain and Abel. You have now Turk was on Cash Money. Was he? Yeah. Mac, Big Ed the Assassin. You have Mac, who was Skull one of the Dugger. best lyricists they I'm had, but he had to go to uh, jail. You had Fiend, who was one of the best lyricists that they had. I don't why, know. Why do you keep calling everybody lyricists? Now, if you go back and listen to that whole thing. No on No Limit. You crazy. <laughs> they should call it No Lyricist <laughs> Records. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's Juvenile signed to? Cash, uh, cash money. money. Cash money. Okay, cash I was money. Confused. No, yeah. Wayne and Drake beats out everybody you just said. Yes. Yeah, that's by itself. That's, that's not even an argument. Hey, now, here, make him say, what uh? era though? What the era? Nine, make him say, uh? Hold on, wait a Honestly, minute. Master P wasn't that wait, good. Wait, wait, wait. Really you gotta take Young Money out though. You gotta take Young Money out because it's a different era. So if you did No Limit Cash Money, that's. That's Fair. apples to apples. So you what? lose Drake and you lose Nicki because that's they're young money. money. That's, that's, that's money. an offshoot. That's the cash money that's a, I know it's an offshoot. Go, if you go BG, Lil Wayne, Turk, the Hot Boys, like Juvenile. I'm gonna be honest with you. Come on. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You really there's really only one conversation for Cash Money, and that's Wayne. Outside of BG? juveniles, no, stop BG. it, nigga. Turk, just stop it, nigga. The hot boys, just stop Jude? it. You didn't, know, you didn't like top, <laughs> outside of, all jokes aside. Out, you didn't out, like top outside of, of, of big uh, timers, outside big of uh, timers. <laughs> slow motion and um, high hmm. and high girl. Like what? I mean, honestly, who else? Name me, is name me the three table? albums from uh, off the No Limit catalog. That's not masterpiece. Silk the Shocker. Guess Murder. who's on No Limit? Give me three Snoop albums. Was on there. Yeah, Snoop, Snoop was on there on the second album. But give me three albums from the No Limit catalog. Well, one okay. of them had a tank. A lot of them had tanks <laughs> had on tanks. the. Uh, okay, give me one album from Fiend. Fiend, there's one in every family. Okay, and the Rock a, Show. Okay, well, okay give Street me one from Life. Mac. Romeo. Uh, Mac was the assassin. Well, that was, fuck No Limit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these real albums. I was, I was a that. big No Limit fan. I was, I was going, then. I was going to Best Buy every week to go buy the new No Limit album because they were dropping fine. albums literally every like week? every two weeks. They were dropping every two albums. weeks. Everybody but they got were a not deal. Good. Don't matter. That's how you stay they relevant. He and they own that listen. though. He yeah, tweet. and now I will say that that's the first record label where they owned it. They made it big out the trunk of cars and became a no, national. See, no, I have to. I have and to, they, I have and to, it wasn't no, 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 under no, 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 any no. other huge record label. They did it this themselves publicly because I, a lot of people give Master P credit for that out the trunk hustle, like for starting that. No, he got that no, from the no, Bay no, Area. No, no, not Too short. E forty was all out. It wasn't. He just did it so well. He did it so well that he they became household names without ever having distribution from a major record label. And he was that, the first black person to do that. And individual rappers that were doing that. That was a whole yeah. label that was doing that. That's and, crazy. And the point, I never do the that. point I was trying to make I is that, that, that P, and Jay. P, P did it. <laughs> he entered the rap game the same way that you entered the dope game. You flood the How market. You no, know? shut up. What is that? It's you like flood you're doing the market. A dope game. You don't any, know? Anytime you, if you're a new drug dealer on a new block, what you want to do is you give away as much free stuff as you can to get people hooked, and then you start charging them reasonable prices. When did you finish you Snowfall season two? <laughs> <laughs> you finished Snow Cone. This is, snow cone this, is <laughs> this is just this is just common salesmanship, guys. That's all it is. They do on the wire. They have the testers out. Nah, man. Hey, Drake and Nicki Minaj count on the wiki. Nah, man. No, on the wiki, they're listed no, under no, cash they, money. Young, young money, cash money. We're just talking cash money. If bro. it's cash, I'm t- this bro. Is before young, this is before young you ain't money. You never came heard out, cash money is the army, but the navy. Yeah. You ever, Have you ever heard? heard? No, yeah, limit soldier. Yeah. No, 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 no limit soldier. I thought I told you. No limit soldier. I thought you knew. Also, couldn't rap though. He really couldn't. He couldn't. Ice cream man. Ice cream man was a classic. Let's be real. I really miss my home. Shut up. God, back. He was in the NBA for a little bit. He had a yeah. day contract. Nah, yeah. I, I found that out like this year. Yeah. What? I was like, is this Photoshop? Nah. nah he was, was that was <laughs> Side note. He was never rocking with Sip the Shocker. Hell no. He, now, I will that, say now, this. That's, oh, the, first, that's the original Blueface Bleeder. It ain't mine. That was he the was. first nigga that was rocking off beat. 
I will say that I I loved him, but he could not catch the beat for nothing. Wait, shocker! He couldn't. It would have been a shock if he caught the beat. (laughs) Right. (laughs) (laughs) The real shocker. The shocker. (laughs) Silk the off the beat. (laughs) This guy. That might be the worst (laughs) joke I've ever heard. That was terrible. I don't get it. I don't know, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Silk the off the beat. I don't even know what you're saying. Silk the shocker. You didn't never hear his music. He couldn't catch the beat. He was like Lupe. It was terrible. Whatever Doughboy was, was so <laughs> far. See, like, murder, like, see, murder actually caught a murder. Yeah, he wasn't playing about that rap murder. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Now what it is. Oh, dang. You now I'm dead murder. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you just, you made one worse than mine. We might not get a fourth number. I'm dead murder. Or see murder. See murder. But you know what? Murder. Murder. <laughs> murder. You know what? <laughs> Mystical probably would have been like oh, a way huger name than he was if he didn't catch that case. Who? If he didn't that rape case? Mystical, was, yeah. yeah. He came, he's caught several of them. <laughs> well, he just people, caught another one. Before the big one. Also, Mystical before had knock it off. <laughs> full on extensions for a while. And we were just yes. like, okay. We didn't Mac, Mac, he literally had the Maxine Shaw. He had. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but she wasn't real? No. no, neither he was O Dog in Minister Society. We all knew <laughs> those that. are fake too. Yeah, but that's a movie. Mystical was just wearing that on Wednesday. Right? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Sir, he you literally said it in. in the song though. He said, "He said I literally I take down my braids and whip your ass with one of my plaits." <laughs> like, that's what he <laughs> said. One of my what? <laughs> But one of my plaques. Before that, those cases, though, he was rapping. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he still is that. He, they, they just did a reunion tour in St. Louis a couple weeks Come ago. Come on, they bro. You can't say Mr. Gordon had no bars. They the said he out. was the only one that really brought it. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make it yeah, go. Make it go. Get off me. Somebody just told me you're looking for me. Mystical? You crazy. You said that like that was going to jog my memory. It'd be like, oh, you right. You, I thought you right. right. I you thought right. about me. No, like, oh, nigga, you right. that shit's still trash. That was fire. Mystical was fire. Here I go. What? No, nigga. Okay. The man right shit. No. Yes. Mystical was everything. No. The man right shit. Juveniles, huh? That's you and that new body bins, huh? That's oh, you that can't keep man. on later because she keep mailing the friends, huh? I love that song. You got to go to court, Listen. huh? Did you Nigga, know? I understand all the words. And, and back that thing up. And old way. Remember Block up. is Hot Wayne? The Block yeah. is Hot. The Block, block is, is Hot. hot. That man, yeah, Wayne, man, Wayne, Wayne was nigga. snapping back then. Oh, they man. made New Orleans like, look so dangerous bro, bro. and hot. Bro. You remember how Juvenile was always like glistening with sweat. He's just he always Listen, looked bro. like he did not want to be a lot of Captain working Towns in those on music them. videos were just girls who lived there. Right. These were not video victims. They were like, Shanika, come no, over here. We're doing this video. video. No, like, this, that. like come outside. Nobody's like, ever asked, we'll shoot right here. Nobody's ever asked this question. Who's a better rapper? Master P or Birdman? Master, Master P. P. Yeah, no. no rap. Past then Birdman. Birdman? Hell yeah. Yes. No. Birdman was in the big timers. Yeah. That's but he was in the big timers. Oh, yeah, that's what happened to that boy? <laughs> He probably didn't write that course. He didn't write none of his what he rap. Wrote. I think Baby is a much better rapper the than Master P. What? Did You're crazy. Say, You're baby crazy. is a much better rapper than Master P. No, I like no. Baby no, just not. talking shit in mixtape intro. Right. Yeah. That's yes. it. But, but Manny Fresh was. Y'all remember very... the number one said, You know me. I don't need no introduction in this. The number we one started. Remember that? We don't care. Hit bunch of bitch. <laughs> oh my God. No, the most underrated person was Manny Fresh. Manny because Fresh the was fact fired. that he was, he was a, talented, he was, a, he was so talented. I don't think he ever got his props the way he right. should have. I didn't like his beats, to be honest. They were <laughs> I always loved like, them. Do do do. I saw a video of him, but it was a vibe. You don't like that, though. He constructed how he made uh um back that thing up. I think or something he did. And there was a lot more thought than you would think yeah. into it. Like he was really like producing. He was a real producer. And he was, yeah. bro. He was a I forgot about back that producer. thing up. Yeah. yeah. And he had a lot of albums to That's create beats for. He, he was laced just, everybody. Yeah. Up. Kanye talking about made a beat music. three three beats a day for three summers. Like man, first of all, I did that before ten a.m. I got two three <laughs> more albums to finish before Tuesday. He's <laughs> <laughs> most stressed out person tears. That's why he wasn't in the videos. He was at home working. He's like, we're shooting the hot video. You, no, no, no. We're shooting the hot video. <laughs> you got to make hot the sequel. <laughs> Lil Wayne shit's coming out next month. Come on. But this, this is why I think you got to say Cash Money is better. Just for the, because even if you go just and say the heyday era is like early 90s, I mean late 90s, early 2000s, the, the Cash Money has been able to stand the test of time. No that Limit passed true, yeah. out, what, 2006, 2005? They still around. They've been out of there. And like, we just talked Cash about Money is still it. putting out music today. Yeah, yeah, but they're not getting paid for it. Who cares? Like, like, we yeah, we yeah, ain't talking about who's going. running the books. We talk about who's still in business. And now Master B's making shoes and snacks. And he all been making stuff. shoes. Oh, side note, I had the rap snacks, Migos. They're actually kind of good. I don't like none of the rap snacks. Uh, do not I like the rap snacks. I would say if we're just talking about influence, 
Lil Wayne is the Come dad on. of like every rapper out Absolutely. right now. Yeah. Young and, Thug. and yeah, and now people are copying Young Thug. So Same now he's like the right. grandfather of he everybody. Is. So like there's nobody influenced by a one no limit artist. Lil Wayne is the Bill Whoa, Washer rap. That's not true. Who's name somebody name popping one. right now that has a, any 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 of the roster. The any baby. Influence. Who? <laughs> They're not influenced by Lil Wayne, right? No, no, no let's talk about from no, no limit. limit. Ain't limit. nobody like that Skull Durgry album really talked to me. Oh, okay, no, right, just so we can put this <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so on. Yeah. Yeah. Skull Durgry was not signed to No Limit. He only got his distribution to No Limit. He was not signed to No Limit. Okay, he was an artist forever. When football players have leather helmets, you know Skull Durgry wasn't signed to No Limit. The fullback got a twist to say that Skull Durgry. I hate you. He only had. Skull I remember a real person. Yeah. 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 This one photo. He had one album. He had one album. Nigga, Skull Duggy had one album. See, and it says, look, the <laughs> best skull. known for his time spent with Master P's no, Lum, no Limit Records, but he was not signed to No Limit, okay? Why are you having a vendetta against Skull Duggy? Sick of this nigga Skull Duggy, man. <laughs> Him and, the tra- him and the train <laughs> track boys. Every label has somebody. The seventeenth artist is just like, yeah, we probably should stop. Yeah. Sick of this nigga Skull Duggar. Yeah, uh, <laughs> even Ab so, man. I just remember Ab looking so at his team. album cover, like, what is this guy doing? Skull Duggar. What's this guy? Like an Amish guy. Isaiah Rashad. <laughs> Sick of Skull Duggery. <laughs> Skull Duggery <laughs> sounds hey, like we need to go Skull Duggery. No limit. No limit. No like limit. Like guys, you gotta go Skull Duggery's on it. Skull Duggery. <laughs> Skull Duggery. <laughs> Lift the sails. Skull Duggery don't no take limit no limit. Had no limit sports. They had a no limit east. They had. Uh, they signed no Ricky Williams. Films. His his. They had. They gave him a terrible they had, yes. they had uh, Snoop. That they had, Fields gave us I Got the Hookup, which yeah, is a and great I, I, got, I got the hookup too. Ooh, just came that out. cinematic masterpiece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> you call it a masterpiece of I shit? <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, the way he said it. Right. That was the funniest part of it. I'm glad you agree. Yeah. Uh, Why did you say that? You talking about I got the hookup too, though, right? Yeah. The first one was good. No, that was that a long too. No, I had AJ Johnson no, in it, man. That was long, bro. Oh, like, well, look, well, get well to the another point. thing, there is no cash money movie coming out but there is a no limit movie coming out is there Ain't nobody what's it called that? biopic i don't uh yeah it's called the revenge of skull Duggar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't talk about me i'm here to read for the skull Duggar. <laughs> <laughs> i'm 30 year old skull Duggar. that's who i'm here to read for. <laughs> that's good that's good what if you got the role though <laughs> Who oh, knew Skull Duggy right. can make us laugh this much? Skull Duggy. Oh. <laughs> I gotta look him up. Oh, I gotta man. put a face to this. Skull Duggy. I don't remember Skull Duggy at all. <laughs> that dope boy, as soon as he heard it, he was like, ah, I'm, I'm never gonna forgive no limit for this. <laughs> what was it about Skull Duggy that made you, you be like, nah, man? Really pissed me off. I was like, I'm sick. Broccolini, <laughs> uh, avocado, avocado toast, and Skull Duggy. Wait, Fuck why all is those Skull Duggy an actual. <laughs> Listen, the rapper didn't pop up. A, ne- a definite. Definition popped up. Skullduggery <laughs> is underhanded or unscrumptious behavior see, or trickery. See, that's the reason why that he named himself that <laughs> son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, Who yeah, named himself that? No Limit Fields had. I'm about it. They had. Oh, I got yeah. the hookup. Right. Uh, no Tomorrow, Foolish, Hot Boys, Lockdown, and they had No Limit Comedy. You had Anthony Johnson, Eddie Griffin, Cheryl Underwood. Hold on, hold on. No Let's Limit Sports. Back. They no. had Paul Skull Pierce. Duggery's Lock album comes. The pit boy has diamonds in his eyes. <laughs> in his eyes? <laughs> Y'all ain't never seen that in real life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's these little <laughs> streets. That's the album I have. <laughs> I just want to be there at that when he's telling the that's, audience, okay, so I want a pit bull diamonds in the eyes. <laughs> like, what? He's got red eyes. I mean, for no limit. This is a lot. Bro, exactly how I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everyone on No Limit had to look like this. They were just like, you black Why enough? Why are y'all doing Yo, this? Real golden four, enough? boys. Are you ridiculous uh, looking? Before be well, we did. Do you have y'all, a ridiculous y'all, name? Skull Dugby, you're in. Like I said, No First Limit all, Sports had Paul Pierce, Darius, Darius <laughs> Mouse, Ricky Williams, and they ruined his career. No, and Ricky, Ricky Davis. The, the yeah. They gave Ricky, Ricky Williams, Williams the worst contract ever. I think it's signed for six honey buns. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of the contract. <laughs> You're Ricky Williams. 
<laughs> Call me Thicky Williams. <laughs> Ricky Williams' whole contract was all incentive. <laughs> they got like $100 million. You play 7,000 football games. Like, yeah. <laughs> I signed this. Man, he terrible. signed a terrible deal. He did. No limit? Yes. Yes. To they actually did have agent. limits. And they found out at that point. <laughs> it was sports. They did have limits. It was sports <laughs> negotiation. <laughs> Actually, no limit except no limit says sports negotiations. <laughs> oh my god, oh. so no oh. killing me. Oh. Do you think Master P got the deal back? Like, I think that was the limit, guys. I feel like, I feel like we actually got I think beat. We gotta rethink our name. We should go back to selling drugs and rap. They negotiated with the NFL for him? Yes. yes. And the yes. NFL was like, yes, please. Like Rock Nation. Yes. Is he still Rock in that contract? No, no, no. no. Yeah. He got out of that deal. Yeah. Oh, my God. He signed God. a terrible. It was terrible. They were like, oh, please. Yes, sign it. It was all incentive. Master P just saw them. It was like $100 million. Right. But the stuff he had to do, he was like, you got to land on the moon. Like, perfect. <laughs> it's not even football related. I still get that. You got to have a 100 yard dash <laughs> on Jupiter. <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> See? Oh, my gosh. That's limits. funny. No, that's easy, cash, cash money ain't money, done that. Cash money ain't done nothing like that. But they no. haven't gotten paid. <laughs> At least Master P paid his artist. That's what I'm saying. He kissed Wayne in the mouth and then didn't pay him. <laughs> well, <laughs> you trying to pay that the nigga and kisses. He's trying to pay the nigga and kisses. Put my money There you go. Cash, cash Money does have good artists, but the, the boss, he, he has to fuck you. The whole you. Part, part of it <laughs> is getting paid for rapping. He no, no, has no, no. to That's fuck you. Right. <laughs> He's like kissing these little kids. Like, I would, yeah, you're right. Maybe No Limit is better. Absolutely. No. I'd rather get paid. You think you're going to rob Skull Duggery for what you owe him? <laughs> I want to do an interview with, with Skull Duggery and see if he got his royalties from his first album. My well, dad did. if he wasn't kissing him in the mouth. No, nah, Birdman was like, hey, how the album do? Did. Wow. <laughs> what about the money? What about the money? <laughs> Kiss me. What about that mouth? Oh <laughs> Get under God. this table. <laughs> he's not even tall. Remember he came in ADD that day? He's like 5'4". Who, Who, baby? Birdman. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see like, him when he was there. Yeah, <laughs> he, he had a little? tattoo on his head. <laughs> oh, my yeah, gosh. Brian, I can't. Remember? His brother Slim, ain't it? Yeah. 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 Slim, picked up, yeah, Slim, yeah, Slim picks up some weight, though. Slim, is Slim ain't as Slim. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they can do 318. What do you mean, Slim? <laughs> slim the who? <laughs> Where's Slim? I thought Slim was coming. You got titties. Oh, my God. <laughs> slim to who? I cannot. I'm Slim to uh, 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 <laughs> uh, All right. So, <laughs> let's rack it in. Uh, Pat, who you got? Uh, rack it in. Cash money minus the, you know, uh, molestation. <laughs> <laughs> Cash money is the army. Better but yet, Navy. <laughs> did you say gravy? Mm-hmm. Not that it. All right. <laughs> Are you there? I did. Of course. All right. So uh, I'm going to go with no limit. Why not? Boom. No limit. Right. What do you mean, why not? It's a whole debate show. <laughs> <laughs> no limit. I like no limit artists, but but the impact of cash money even before adding young money. Just Wayne alone is better Wayne. than just Wayne by himself from age 16 to yeah. 20. 14. Is or fourteen? Because yeah. Wayne was like my age when I was in high school, I but he was rapping like that. that. I switched. That is I'm Wayne going alone. to cash money. You going to cash money? I'm sorry. Oh, she cash switched money, to cash right. money. Yeah, you I switched. That, I forgot about that. Three about or Lil four Wayne. summers when cash money came out, he everything. Came back. Bro, it was he. He invented four. bling bling. Do you know how crazy that is? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then BG went to jail. He's still there. It was clean. Is he? He was signed to. He's still in jail. He's still in jail. No, no, he was signed to um Ti. Clean, clean. Hustle. Uh, yeah, BG was on Grand Hustle for a minute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> First, he was on the Grand Jury. <laughs> Before the hustle, sir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you worry about the grand jury first. All right, so you going to convert to cash money like everybody else? No, I'm I'm gonna stick with no limit. I'm riding. Nah. Nah, man, you know I'm riding with the tank. No, I'm riding with the tank. I'm riding with it. When I was growing up, I came up on no limit. No limit had the best beats. They settled the best in, in the old. We ain't schools. talking about the all you can eat buffet. We're talking about the rap music. I don't. I don't care what you're talking about. I said what I said. I'm sticking with no limit. You breakfast. had listened to their roster before Cash Money. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You and I did. Pick Start three, three no limit albums versus three Cash Money. You saying the best three no limit albums? Okay. Versus the three cash money before Young Money. Okay. And here's the thing. He could also just make up three albums and we'd be like, okay. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the streets is watching. The streets is I'll, listening. I'll bring him up. I'll shoot him up if you want. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he shouldn't I would, have to Google this. Uh, I would go, no, I would go with uh, Mac. 
from No Limit. What album? Matt? Mac. Mac. Oh. Yeah, it was called The Assassin. Yeah, you're right. I would go with that one. Yeah. That was Never a great. Mind. That was that, that was a great app. Uh, okay, I would I would go with the first true album. It was a double disc. Oh yeah, where the letter was turned oh, over. Yeah, I would go with true. that right I there. About true and TV. I'll go with. Uh, first of all, why did Master P, Silk the Shocker, and C Murder think that they could form a super group? Because they did. <laughs> they did. They, <laughs> they call it true. They absolutely <laughs> did. They good by yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Strip the numbers. Just be all together. Three. Maybe still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Strip the numbers. <laughs> all three like, of them. Like and then hell, I, give me, give me, uh, like give me Master P Ghetto D. That's that joint had bangers from beginning to end. Well, so Ghetto okay, D. Now you're Ghetto cash D. Money. Ghetto dope. Huh? I mean, cash money ones. Cash money. It would be. Block is hot. Four hundred degrees. Four hundred degrees. Chop a city in the ghetto. I'm trying to think of Wayne's best album. It's 400 degrees. Carter, the, no, Carter, the Carter hey, two. The Carter two. No, I like. I, I like this mixtape more than degrees, more than anything. Uh, what was the one he had? The 500 degrees oh, is fire. Um, 500 degrees wasn't fire. It, it just was, had some good ones. It was 500 that. degrees. What you call it? <laughs> <laughs> That's broiling. Lava. Um, All right. <laughs> I like the mixtapes better when it comes yeah, to Wayne, I'm man. Say that All right, I regret asking mixed. this question. Just wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> good, because I win. Um, all right, man. But there it is. We have two to one, two to three. No, it's four to no, one. You're the only stupid nigga that said no limit. Oh, that's right. Dang. Okay, well, that's four to one. I'm yeah. the only one riding for the tank. Yeah. Y'all some busters. Because you, you built, built like, like the tank. Oh, yeah. That was slow hands. Oh, you you guys are here trying to climb out the top of a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. They're coming. <laughs> Does this whole thing open or just this? <laughs> Where's the door to this thing? You got to come out of this. <laughs> that was too far. Oh, All right, man. Well, thank y'all for watching, man. Another I episode of Versus. Yeah. Make sure you check it out next Monday, man. We'll be right back. Same place, same channel. And also, if All you want to give us ideas, hit to hear up on Twitter or Instagram DM. Yep. Or email him yes. at Versus. thickhips at gmail.com. Yes. <laughs> Delete it before that part. <laughs> <laughs> that is nope. definitely going to be the last thing they hear. Talk to y'all later. No, man, you know what? The Lord loves you also. And, and don't you cut the Lord out, man. He cares about your soul. <laughs> Best gospel labels. <laughs>